for British fencing with the 2012 Olympics fast approaching. It has secured a £1 million sponsorship deal. The insurance company Beasley is providing the cash for the sport. There's been some great times. Um, I'm very grateful for what they've done and the support they've given us over the, over the past four years. We have probably achieved far more than we perhaps thought we would get. British fencing is the first thing uh, we have really sponsored and we wanted to choose a sport where we could make a difference. We found that there was an interesting correlation between what our underwriters do um, and what a fencer does. You have to be very disciplined as a fencer. You have to be very disciplined as a, an underwriter, otherwise you can lose a lot of money very fast. We've been delighted with the success of our top athletes. Not only have we now got a senior European champion in James Davis, but we've also got a real cohort of young talented fencers coming through and much of that has been down to the investment and support of Beasley. It'd be very tough without the support from Beasley. Um, you know, to have all this stuff, you, you need to be able to pay for it. Otherwise, it, you know, you, you can't get the sparring partners in, you can't have the facility and the, the performance team that we have. As a direct result of the investment that Beasley's made for the last four years, we have um, been able to subsidise all the junior and cadet, that's under 17 teams, to go to European and World Championships. And of course, that's a big cost for young fencers coming through their travel. And to be able to do something like that and give them the experience of European and World Championships is very, very important. I think Beasley is very interested in the, um, in the community aspects of where it operates. And I was really keen that the grassroots level also benefited from the, uh, the funding we applied. We've started clubs in areas where there's been no fencing. We've created new community offerings and bringing fencing out to people that traditionally might not see fencing as an attractive sport. One of the nice things about fencing is it's very mobile. You don't have to go to a stadium to watch a fencing match. Uh, you uh, uh, can bring it to you. So we brought it to the room, the underwriting room at Lloyd's, which was the first one we had. We've had pop-up fencing in a huge variety of places. It attracts a crowd uh, of passers-by, but it also obviously is a, a, an interesting and entertaining entertainment opportunity for our, for our brokers. It's also been a singular opportunity for our staff and brokers to meet the, with the fencers. And the fencers have been great ambassadors for British fencing. So we've gone from you know, being a very, I suppose, you know, the, the small sport that we were and using the Olympics and the partnership with Beasley, we've now created a much more sustainable um, base which we hope will deliver further success both in terms of Olympic medals and World and European Championship medals and also for the grassroots participation. Well, I feel with the extra support they have got from UK Sport and Sport England, uh, British Fencing has a much better financial base on which to attract a new sponsor. And a new sponsor coming in will be able to build on very solid financial foundations. We have national championships coming up and then we start the Olympic qualification. So this is the important year and then fingers crossed we'll know at the end if we've qualified a team or not. Um, and hopefully we will. Thank you.